Uh, what do you think of Mikey as a tag team partner? The pairing and just the actual mechanics of a match. How was it? I loved it. I, lo I loved it because she took such great bumps. Uh, he he had sympathy with the fans, and this was generally speaking a pretty unsympathetic <laughs> group of diehard fans. Yes, but they really they you know they saw in Mikey that every man they knew he'd been the guy. I believe he used to set up the ring. And then Paulie booked him so he could take some good bumps, uh, booked him that way. And he was super over with the fans and a lot of fun to work with and a really good guy. Uh, and I think Mikey himself, because he does a good podcast uh, along with Jerry Lynn, I think. I think they've he's talked about his time with me as being a, you know, a really good time. He liked driving with me. There were several occasions where I would drive Mikey back uh, to Long Island but because he lived another 40 minutes east, uh, he would sleep over the, the Foley place in West Babylon, and then in the morning I'd drive him back, and there, I was driving with Dewey, and I know this is one of Mikey's favorite moments. I knew Dewey had problems with his C and K sounds, right? Like a lot of kids do. And I said, oh, well, look at those nice kitties, Dewey. And he, oh, yeah, I said, can you say that? And M Mikey, I kid you not, I think he's got a thing of milk. You know what's about to happen, and Dewey says, Nice titties, and out go, <laughs> <laughs> out goes the Tremendous. out goes the milk. So I think it was, you know, uh, it was like a big brother type relationship. Uh, I, you know, I, I think he recalls the guest room at the Foley place with fondness, and we loved having him there.